a door of a church. Uh, and they look at it and they think, I, I want none of that because I, I'm not pleased with the way the election has gone. I'm not pleased with the evangelicals. I'm not pleased with anything. What's going on? Woe is me. And they're agonizing. They're living in anxiety, which is which has reached epidemic proportions. Yet you're giving them something to ignite their dream, ignite their faith, ignite their hope. What is it? Well, first off, I think we need a Christian to look look at us through God's eyes and not through our conflicted eyes with all the distractions and tragedies and emotions and elections and all that and get above it and think that God of the universe created us for heaven. He created us for heaven. He, he didn't create us for this earth. He created us for heaven. He wants to spend eternity with him. This God who always was and always will be created us out of nothing and, and put his DNA on us. I mean, you think he knit us in the mother's womb. He, he loves us. You know, he loves you so much he knows your every thought. You know, he knows your words before you speak your words. How much he, he knows you and he loves you in spite of it. I just keep thinking, God, how do you love a wretch like me? I don't, I don't deserve it. And that's the whole point of it is that we can't earn our way into heaven. And that's why he sent his son. We, we can't be good enough. He created us, and when he created us, he gave us free choice. That was automatic for him, but it had to be hard at the same time because he knew when he gave us free choice, most of us would make the wrong choice. Scriptures actually say broad is the way to destruction. Most will go there. Narrow is the way. Few will go to heaven. Barry, I could talk to you for hours. Uh, this, this is so refreshing uh, to have you just come on and share your story and how you've triumphed in the business world, but... The more that you've triumphed, the more you've given back to help people uh, who have no clue about what we're talking about, except they're listening with you, with your intensity and your joy and your passion. And, and it doesn't have anything to do with personality. He didn't say go to the world, all you who are uh, extroverts or introverts <laughs> or, or, or have trained. He says go. We all have. Just we're go. all called. And we each have our unique. But it doesn't take any talent at all to love on people. And it doesn't take anything, any talent at all to have God just give you words, speaking through it. I'll give you one more quick little key. We give out cards from our ministry, it's called Ignite America. We give out these free of charge. And people are using them all over the nation. Pastors are printing these by the thousands now. It's a card that says, Seeking God. You carry these with you. They're free off our website, okay? You carry them with you. And, and when you have those spontaneous conversations, and they happen every day in the most amazing places, you only have them for five minutes, and you know they're interested. You say to them, would you like, it's not like you'd like to know more about God. They'll always say yes. And when they say yes, you say, here's here's something for you. Here's a here's a card. If you go to that QR code, that'll tell you how much God loves you. It'll tell you everything you need to know of, about God and, and his plan for you and, and his place for you in heaven. And they'll take that card, and they'll say, I can get all that off of here. So it, you never have to be frustrated that you didn't give the whole message. Get them started and then give this card and know that they have the tools right there. We leave them where we're made in the hotel rooms at night. We leave them with our waiters. Uh, it's just a way to make it to, to complete the process. When we're sharing our faith, let's multiply our efforts as best we can. But, folks, I get to tell you, this is a, it's a powerful message. God says, I'll know you're my disciple by your love. I, I sat next to a gal on a plane the other day and and I pulled my Bible. I love people who are Christian. Oh, you're a pastor. No, I'm not a pastor. I'm just a businessman. But I love God. She's, well, God could never love me. Well, why? She explained that she was in a lesbian relationship. I just broke out laughing. She said, why are you laughing? I said, because you obviously do not know God. <laughs> do you know God loves you? No, no. No, he could never love me. He loves you. No, he could never love me. You don't, no, I do understand. Do you know that he loves you as much as he's ever loved anybody in the world, ever? <laughs> do you know that he loves you as much as he loves his own son, Jesus Christ? That's how much he loves you. Mm. He's love. God is love. We need to express She broke. We were we were praying together as we landed the plane, you know. And, and it's just so much fun when you allow God to speak through you and love you. Folks, if you haven't tried it... <laughs> Uh, we say move everybody. Uh, my final question is, what's your hope for America? 
What's my hope for America? That we get as many people into heaven as possible before the rapture. And I think the rapture is coming soon. I don't get into politics. I, I'll keep those thoughts to myself. I, I'm dead wrong most of the time. I just see it just gets easier and easier. I've been sharing my faith for 50 years, okay? It's never been easier than right now. Over 80% of the unchurched are looking for God right now. They're fearful. They're afraid. They're looking for 80% of the unchurch are looking for God and we think they're not interested. They are interested. And you know the ones that respond the fastest are the ones that you least expect. The ones that are angry and bow and pierced and whatever. And when you love on them, it's interrupting. <laughs> I think I hate on them. I'm an old white guy. I can't love on them, but I do. <laughs> it's very like, what? <laughs> it's, it's on America's hope. <laughs> I, this has been great. Thank you, Barry, for... Uh, Stopping by and sharing your love for uh, God and humanity. Appreciate you, my friend. God bless you. Thank you. And God's blessing is already on you. I praise God. Thank you for that. Thank you. We're coming back with more in just a moment. Welcome back to America's Hope. I've got to thank Barry McGuire and I've got to thank J.C. Watts for stopping by to talk to us about how they view America and how they have faith in God and country to propel us to go forward. And while things might put us in despair, they have the hope to understand that we can break through that. And they talk about how to ignite your passion, ignite your hope, ignite your dream, ignite your faith in God and country. Right there, those are the ingredients for making sure that you have the kind of hope that overcomes anxiety and adversity and that you have the kind of faith that overcomes fear, and that you have the kind of love that overcomes hate. Yeah. Keep spreading hope, y'all. Let love, freedom, and peace abound. Till next time, God bless.